This crazy Russian, Vladimir, approaching. We've both been packing all afternoon. Actually, we camped very close to each other, probably a mile or two off. And I know he's been having a hell of a time of it, as have I. I think he's going around Cape Sable, I'll find out. I'm going up the Hashark River. Okay. There he is. Hey, that crazy Russian! Great day, isn't it? <laughs> Are you going to just wait till the tide comes up? Well, that'll be a long time. I mean, it's, I think it's starting to come in now. It'll be coming in till this afternoon. Oh, shit. There's goes my clear. Okay, there's wood carver and crunch. You see how shallow that water is there ground. They're going to wait till the tide changes. I keep touching bottom even in the middle of this channel. Um, two forces working against me as they were yesterday, the wind and the current. That's only in this channel. Most of it will be uh, in south and I'll be able to take advantage of the wind. However, I'm having a problem with steering and I just can't seem to get my rudder to respond, especially to starboard. Uh, it's really frustrating because I get off course just a little bit and I end up in the grass flats. So anyway, I'm going to keep assisting now and hopefully get it get the key Lago at least. Okay, the wind's probably blocking my voice, but this is the best thing that's happened all morning. I'm finally getting to the end of this bloody channel. My God, those waves that you see are coming straight at me, the wind, the tide's coming in. I put the sail back up a little while ago, but the main part of this channel said it changed direction. I just couldn't get up the sail, the mast, even with the sail furled, was catching enough wind to spin me around and make it difficult to control. The steering is fine, it's just that under these conditions, the weeds wrapping around the rudder and the pedal drive, uh, just making it very, very challenging. Of course, 
I'm so low, so every time I pull the drive out or flip the rudder up to get the weeds off, the boat's unattended and I end up blowing into the mud flats. It's been a very frustrating morning, so celebration time. Those two that are pointing towards each other, that's the, that's the end. Yes. Now I should be able to get a really good sail, a good tack, heading down to the intercoastal waterway. I don't care what time I'm going to get there tonight. I've been thinking about, you know, maybe I should do what the folks back there, two boats dropped out in the last 12 hours because of these conditions. But, you know, I figure I've got 30 days to complete the ultimate. So I'll get as far as I can. Winning is no longer the challenge, the option, the goal. Now it's just finishing. And in a respectable time, which for me will be shorter than 27 days, which it took me in 2006. So that's my personal goal. I'll go ahead and speak, but I doubt any of this is coming on. This is a typical channel that you see in the Everglades, uh, Florida Bay, and you really have to be careful. It's very, very shallow just off on the other side of these markers. And in contrast to the one this morning and yesterday afternoon that I kept getting stuck in, of the mud flat, but came very close to the edge. This one is further down, the wind conditions are ideal, and I am just flying through it. Speed right now is 6.8 and 6.8 miles an hour. And bird sitting up here. I just give you some idea. There's a branch sitting there. It's real. I use the pedal drives all the time, even when I'm sailing. Gives me a little extra speed and enables me to point very close into the wind. Didn't work yesterday, but it does give me a slight advantage. 